the evolution of blockchain and cryptocurrencies has created a completely new ecosystem with many investors, traders, and enthusiasts. Decentralized finance offers finance instruments similar to the ones available in a bank. But allowing borrowers to take out loans and lenders to provide loans by locking their crypto assets side should be developed. Imagine that instead of depositing your money into the bank, you are sending your crypto to the decentralized network. And, just like lending to a bank, you immediately begin to earn interest on your crypto. The interest you earn is denominated in the same token that you lent, meaning, if you sent Tether, you earn interest in Tether. Today we will investigate such a protocol, primarily concerned with the financial services of borrowing and lending your crypto. Compound Protocol. I'm Tony from KK Technologies. To understand the Compound Protocol well, let's discover this autonomous interest rate protocol built for developers to unlock a universe of open financial applications. Like most decentralized finance protocols, Compound is a system of openly accessible smart contracts built on Ethereum. The system works like this. When a user locks in funds on the lending side of the Compound protocol, they receive C tokens or digital assets representing the amount that they have deposited. Examples of C tokens include CF, CBAT, and CDI. C tokens are an ERC20 token built using the Ethereum blockchain protocol. There are different C tokens for each crypto on the compound, this entire process is automatic and handled by the compound code, meaning lenders can withdraw deposits at any time. Owners of the tokens can transfer, trade, or use them on other dApps. The tokens will continue to earn interest on the compound protocol while they are being used throughout the DeFi ecosystem. Locking up USDC in the protocol generates CUSD tokens which automatically earn interest for you. At any time, you can redeem your CUSDC for normal USDC. Plus interest paid in USDC interest rates are calculated by the supply and demand of each crypto asset. In addition to earning interest on your crypto assets, Compound allows you to borrow additional crypto assets through C tokens generated each time a user deposits their crypto assets into Compound protocol. Both lenders and borrowers on Compound deal directly with the protocol itself, which sets the interest rate algorithmically and without any need for users to negotiate terms. Non-technical users can interact with the Compound protocol using an interface like Argent, Coinbase Wallet, or app.compound.finance. Developers can create their own applications that interact with Compound's smart contracts. When it comes to the governance of Compound, it is being slowly decentralized, and it is all thanks to the Comp tokens. These tokens entitle the users who hold these tokens to governance rights and fees over the protocol. Compound connects lenders and borrowers using a combination of smart contracts running on Ethereum and incentives paid in cryptocurrency. Lending. Anyone wishing to lend a cryptocurrency on Compound can send their tokens to an Ethereum address controlled by Compound to earn interest. Also referred to as locking, sending, or depositing. This is similar to depositing fiat currency into a savings account that starts earning interest immediately. Borrowing. The other main feature of the Compound protocol is the ability to borrow against deposited and locked funds. Anyone who posts collateral on Compound in the form of a cryptocurrency. They are allowed to borrow cryptocurrencies supported by Compound at a percentage of the posted value. The amount a user can borrow depends on how much they deposit, and each cryptocurrency has different rates. Like many DeFi projects, Compound also operates on the principle of over-collateralization. This means that users who want to borrow have to have collateral that is more than what they want to borrow, that way the lender and the system are exposed to zero risk. To sum up, Compound and DeFi more broadly wants to help people have more access and control over the money they earn and save. The aim of Compound Finance is to be fully decentralized over time and transfer authority of the underlying protocol to the decentralized autonomous organization governed by the Compound community. Cryptocurrencies are also highly volatile, so your cash can go down as well as up in the blink of an eye. As always, you should never invest in something you don't understand. What are your thoughts about Compound Protocol? Would you use or invest in it? Let me know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching. If you find this video helpful, please tab the subscribe button 